Ah, hello everybody. It is Dragon Appreciation Day. And, uh, yeah, gonna round off the evening by, uh, by playing a bit of Spyro. Spyro the dragon. He's a, he's a, he's a good dragon. He deserves all the appreciation you can get, so, uh, give me one moment. While I just organize some things. <clears throat> and, uh, we'll get started. All right. Let me swap over to my PlayStation output. There we go. And, uh, yeah, off we go. So, uh, hope everyone's had a good day today and a good weekend. Here we go. Hi, hi. Hello. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. It's Spyro, Spyro, Spyro. Spyro time. <laughs> yep, I am on my PS2. I love my PS2. There we go. Ooh, one moment. <laughs> He seems to have left something on uh, my monitor. Hang on. Oh, I can just hold that button. There we go. Oh, I've been raided. There we go. <laughs> just had to sort out a sound issue I left on my monitor. I've been raided. Hello, everybody. Hi, thanks for stopping by. Ever play those free demo discs which came in the PlayStation magazine? Yeah! I Oh man, I used to get the official PlayStation magazine and um, all those uh, all those demos. Man, demos were a good time. Hi, Vanin! Thanks for stopping by. Gonna play some Spyro. Hi, Sneeze. Enjoy your spaghetti bolognese, by the way. I know I would. Oof, spaghetti bolognese. Does not have a memory card. I mean, do not have a save file. Create a save file now. Yes, go on then. It is Dragon Appreciation Day, and we are going to appreciate the hell out of Spyro today. All right, let's go for that one. Hopefully everything works. Sound looks to be all right. Let me know if, uh, let me know if there are any sound problems. <laughs> Can we win the raid with the hello? Hey, Lays. Nice to see you today. Thanks for stopping, thanks for stopping by tonight. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six <laughs> for a dragon's age? <laughs> We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? Sheep abuse. A nasty Gnorf character. Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn... Vanish and go eat. Okay. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Them all. Ah. He's been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is an ugly... That does it. Oh. Looks like I've got some things to do. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of things to do. <clears throat> Hi, not Shadow Fever. Hello, thanks for stopping by. See you, sneeze. Big blue dragon, the adventure begins. It's been a while. Right. Oh yeah, we've got analog on PlayStation. Nice. All right, first dragon. Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. <laughs> ah, just, yeah. Nice chill game for, uh, for this Sunday. It's been a busy week. Get out of it, you. Dealer of gems. This guy, this guy over here is my favorite. Keep your horns on, Spyro! You've got a lot to learn first. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro! <laughs> you have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um. His name is Sparks. And he's helping and protecting you. 
Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. <laughs> okay. This is the inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Only for this game. Uh, then they got somebody else to do it. <laughs> 90s. Oh, yeah. Gotta have the tood. Gotta have the tood. You're nobody in the 90s. Right. Ew. Oh, yeah! This is happening! <laughs> Sonic Adventure. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I don't want to talk to you just yet. Oh, there's no... Can't move the camera with the other stick. Gotta use the... Gotta use those shoulder buttons. Ouch. I like it when it... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a nice sound. Oh, thought I got you. Come here. <clears throat> hey, Spyro! Woo! Dual shock. What's that? Um, <laughs> it's definitely something. Oh, another one. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. <laughs> Don't be afraid of death, Spyro. Come here, you. Yeah, I hope everybody's had a, a nice weekend. I've had a busy week. I had a friend over, and uh, we played lots of... We, we did lots of things and went to football matches and all this other stuff. I'm sorry, there wasn't a... I did mention a surprise stream on the last one, but uh, we ended up being so busy that it didn't kind of happen. <laughs> but uh, eh, there it goes. Maybe next time. Maybe another time. <laughs> Made a cross face? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Oop. Here we go. Right, which zone first? It's not going to be that one. I think it would be the sunny... Is it sunny Vale? I can't remember. Yep. Sunny... Stonehill. That's it. There we go. <laughs> Right, first zone? Yeah, it didn't really be zone, it's just a level, I guess. Yes, today is Appreciate a Dragon Day, so if you, if you have a local dragon, please should appreciate them. Send them shinies, send them money. They will appreciate you for it. Ouch. There. Running into walls is my specialty. Oh, I love that. That chain chain bash. Let's see what this guy has to say. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Oh no. I run into walls, I don't run into trouble. Bosh. <laughs> oh man, while Lucas was here as well, I managed to successfully speed run. <laughs> well, successfully. Uh, the uh, Into the Dragonfly, the game that nobody talks about anymore. Because uh, it's terrible. Terrible game. But uh, I was able to finish it in about three minutes, which was kind of hilarious. He says that like he knows otherwise, yeah, huh? Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Mm. Oh, don't have the key yet. 
I love uh, there's one world in here that's in this level that's just nah, it's amazing. Great atmosphere to it. Stuart Copeland did the music for this, and it's just uh, oh, it's so good. Gives you appreciation for the bass guitar. Hi, Astor. Had the you freed all the dragons? Pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No, thanks. See ya. <laughs> I've got no time for old people. Old people tell you stories. Yeah, it's so good. There must be like a unofficial vinyl of it somewhere. It's great. Yeah, I ended up uh, flying to Sheffield today and uh, ended up walking away with a Xbox 360. Don't know how it happened, but uh, there you go. And I'm probably going to uh, do some, do all kinds of crazy things with it. What I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Damn kids, get off my lawn! <laughs> Oh, that sound. Know who that is. Yeah, I see you. And get you. the Japanese version of this game. It is crazily different to what uh, what the Western version is. Like they added more sound effects and completely changed the camera. It's definitely something to, uh, to look up if you're interested. About region differences in games, it's... Uh, Spyro went through quite, quite some changes. Hey, by gum! Icky thump! <laughs> Back in my day, you could catch the trolley bus for a <laughs> Yep. Three shillings and sixpence. Not by your old country. Hello, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid flight. Good tip. Thank you very much. Oh man, <clears throat> fun thing about this game, uh, this was the first, I think it was the first, it's commonly kind of touted as being, but this was the first game to have a uh, LOD system or a level of detail so they could make these really big expensive views without slowing the PlayStation to a crawl. So you can see the, as I get closer to things, they sort of increase in detail. I'm just looking at that tower up ahead and then when you walk away, textures disappear from it, it's very obvious. Uh, but back then, it was like, wow, look at all these big worlds you can have. Big environments, and uh, without having to have, like, Silent Hill fog everywhere. It was genuinely cool at the time. find all the gems. I'm not sure if that uh, little secret with Barks works where you uh, press press a combination of buttons and he points to the nearest uh, to the nearest gem. I think that might have been an inclusion in like later PlayStation games maybe? I'm not sure if it's in this one though. Takes it goes from 32 to 8. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a clever system that they came up with and it kind of not, uh, so, uh, I don't know, either inspired or they used the tech or something. I'm not quite sure, but it was definitely one of those things where it's like, oh, we can really use this. These big, expensive worlds. Yep. 
Um, interesting little factoid. Yep. Yeah. All right, five gems to go. <clears throat> Where could they be hiding? I always miss them in this world because it's so big. Let's see, is pressing all those buttons do it? No, that makes just no, that just makes Spyro roll. Never mind. Let's have a good old look around. Do you see any glimmering things in the distance? Come on, gems. Where are you hiding? You can't evade me forever. I'm a dragon. I will collect you and hoard you. They're running around, yeah, he's a little sort of... Oh, there's the... there are some gems up there. A little pitter patter pitter patter yeah. <laughs> Woo, okay. Three to go. Oh, no, thought I something, saw something. Never mind. Oh, what was that over there? Ha! See you. There they are. Nice. I think that's it. Going home. It. I love the mood of, uh, of Dark Hollow. It's great. Oh yeah, I've got to wait for the ground. Gems to hit the ground first. Argos. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss has threw a portal behind me. You can challenge him now if you feel you are ready. Oh, okay. Mm, not yet. I'm gonna go to I think it's Town Square. I like Town Square. Oh. Back for, back for kicking, are you? There we go, hundred. Town Square. This is this is great level. Nil, 
How's it going? Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. I will do that. <laughs> you just leave him like that. He ain't bothering anymore. Oh, did he just disappear? Okay. Did he disappear after a while? I guess it's only when you walk away. Fine. I love all the little personalities that they add into the remake. Oh, well done. So nicely thought out. Delvin! Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? I do now. Oh yeah, I see you up there. And if you're quick enough, you can get him. There you go. Need to get on the re Yes. Please get get your pause on the remake. It is very very good. Definitely PC, I'd recommend. Get that uh get that 4K in there. You can't say no to 4K dragons. You have the originals, cool, yeah. Which, uh, are the Platinum versions, or the Greatest Hits version, or, uh, just the regular, um, non-special releases? Because there are actually some differences between the two, uh, depending on the... Man, it's, it's a deep conversation, but the cutting room floor has a whole lot of information about, like, versions. Thank you for releasing me. No prob, Thor. Like, uh, the, um... The Platinum Hits version has bug fixes and all these other stuff and different different music tracks as well. It's like, man, it's uh, it's quite a quite a slippery slope to read about on the on the cutting room floor website. Uh. Wink. Alvar. <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Oh, you. Thanks. What was my... Let's have a look. Inventory. Did I get all 200? Yeah, I got all 200. Don't worry, Alvar. I rescued, I rescued your egg. <laughs> low, low poly, low poly chimkin. There's a Twitter handle, I think, that concentrates on low poly items from games. There's probably an entry for the low poly chimkin. 
Yeah, that's a wall. Ah, come here, you. Ah, oh, Dark Hollow, my favorite. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Mmm, nope. Not too many bites. <laughs> Hi, Alban. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Good to know. I already had to do it, but good to know. This game is m a master at teaching you things you've already figured out. the skill points were in the game at this point that might be a that might be a remake thing only I can't remember I think I missed something actually. Yeah, down here. Another dragon. Oswin. Psst, Spyro. Want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Don't hit the water. Water is not good for Spyro in this game. Oops. Ouch. Oh, I got a key, didn't I? Yeah. Gems, lots of gems. Yeah, really, really short level this one actually, but uh, I do enjoy it. Yeah, the colors are nice. I love night levels in games. Nicely lit nighttime levels. Ah. 
I'm Darius. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. I I know already. But thanks. Alright, the campfires. One day we can get the get the fire making cave. Mm-hmm. Is that all the gems? Yeah. Oh, crash. Hmm, is that everything in this level now? See you. Ooh, waterfall. Hmm. A one, a two, a three, a four, five. Flying levels. I actually find these quite difficult. <laughs> I always struggle a little bit with them. Crash is the other one. Oh, Spyro and, Spyro and Crash, yeah. All right, let's see if I can get this first try. Probably not. Oh boy, got to hurry. Where's the last one? There! Ooh. I seem to be doing... <laughs> now going backwards, but... This is fine. This is good. I'm still airborne. This is still good. There she goes. Heck yeah. This time. Nice. New record. Try again. Mm, no. <laughs> nope. I don't think I ever had a crash game. Oh wow! On Spyro games and demo disc, demo discs. Yeah, the official PlayStation, official PlayStation demo discs. Good times. Demos are making a comeback, though. I don't know if you've maybe noticed, but there are a lot of demos for games now. It's definitely a thing, and uh, definitely only be a good thing. Let's see. I think I've done everything here. Oh, demo discs were great. I remember spending hours of time just playing those demos because that's all you kind of had back then. It was uh, it was great. Net Eurose, oh my goodness. I actually um, was really interested early on in getting one of those. Um, now you can get them fairly commonly, I think. Um, and they're region free, which is nice. Um... I don't know why region locking became a thing. It was very bad. But yeah, net, yet in the roses, net your roses, I mean, <laughs> were uh, region free. Oh, God, these dogs. Get out of it. I was genuinely interested in making, trying to make my own games for the PlayStation 1 when I was a wee hatchling. 
stupid dogs. You're going to make me look bad, aren't you? <laughs> there. Rocks and gems. Oh, was that uh, was that a uh, game on the Net Your Rosie? But stupid dog. Some top down racing game? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> top down racing game. I do remember that myself. <laughs> I remember. Uh... Man, there were some weird games. There was... I remember a first person some dungeon crawler with some really flat green enemies that were, I think, aliens. I remember, but. Uh... And some other things as well. There are videos, there are compilations out there of. Uh... Of those kinds of things. I do... If anybody remembers the T-Rex from... I don't know. I think it was Demo 1. You could play and control a T-Rex. And you can make him look around and snarl. It was amazing at the time. Ouch. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Was, oh, gravi gravitation? Planes? Yeah. You remember the T-Rex? Yeah, the T-Rex was great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sheep trying to have his revenge. Where are you? Uh, nah. Look at him go. <laughs> oh man, the T Rex it was so much fun. Uh, he did nothing. He did nothing but walk, and it was just like you can make him look around and snarl. That was it. It was so cool. Gun sparks. Is that well done? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Marco. Wow, I see that you've been busy rescuing Dragon Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's World if you like. Are you ready to go? Heck yeah, I'm ready to go. This next world is really cool. Oh, the 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 dragons in uh, in the Peacekeeper's World in the remake. Oh, they're so cool. I love the first one that you meet. He looks great. This guy, he's so cool in the remake. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. 
Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. We cover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Give me a task for my natural instincts and I'll do it. Oh yeah, cannon fighting. Right. How do I push the cannon again? That way, I, I remember. Ah, <laughs> bosh. Get out of it. Insomniac are, uh, they're always making good games. They're one of my favorite Western, Western developers. They never really ever make bad stuff. They've uh, really earned their reputation. Yeah. We're only a few games away from Spyro becoming a cover shooter. Drac Canyon. Oh, yeah, they've got guns. I remember now. Oh, you! Come here, you. Ooh, almost. Whoa! <laughs> Don't want to get shot. You <laughs> blue, blue lad. Yeah. I think he has a name. Just, just the the blue, blue git. Whoa! Yeah. No water, bad. If it is water, it doesn't look like water. It looks like Vimto, actually. Dragon, what do you have to say? Hi, Conan. Thank you for releasing me. You don't really sound like a Conan to me. Dragons are weak to Vimto. <laughs> a one natural weakness. Oh, geez, and vultures. That was rude. Stupid bird. <laughs> Stuff st beginning with V. Yeah. <laughs> Vultures, Vimto, and uh, the, um, violins, maybe. Um, violas. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Boris. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> Bye, Boris. Good gliders, eh? Hmm. Name's that teenager, yeah, Boris. 
I'll take that, thank you. Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. <laughs> He's the surfer dragon. And then Hunter. Oh, Hunter in the later games. It's definitely the surfer. The surfer did! Ooh. I think we want to go up there, actually. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got a toot in the 90s. Hmm. This way. Hey, you're not a very good bird keeper if you're going to use them like that. <laughs> Is that guns popping at me? Uh oh. I should film the RSPB on these guys. Whoa! nearly went with him. That was close. Ivor or evil? Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you're a wee puppy smoke. We've known, uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. <laughs> Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke. I want what's over there. Every time a dragon collects a statue, he gains a life. Well, you should see my Alea. I, have, I must have about a thousand lives at this point. Did I get the key? Whoop. Don't send me the fireworks. Okay. Oh, that's a long jump. With a flying leap. Yeah, easy. There we go. He says hi. Let's go on the PS5. Ooh, okay. Oh, I'm on someone's PS5. Nice. Hey, sneeze. I would too, to be honest, if I had the big ball in his.
Hoink. <laughs> Stupid bird. Is that all the treasure? Yes. And did I get all the dragons? I did. think about it, this game is full of stereotypes that didn't age well. <laughs> yeah, it's like, eh, yeah. Not, not too good. Let me tell you, yeah. Yep, and you you look at that and you go, ooh, <laughs> not great. Ah, oh, who are these guys? Oh, those are little frilly lizards that they sort of when they hiss at you, they sort of got the got the frills. I won't hurt them. Oh, you. Where'd you go? I'm gonna get you. They look like cabbage mini eggs. And now I want cabbage mini eggs. Ow. Sheer speed, yeah, it's it's fast. He's he's a fast little guy, Spyro. Now I really want cabbage mini eggs. I don't have any. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't harm metal, but charging with your horns that should do the trick. Mini egg. Yeah, mini eggs for me. <laughs> I'll start a hashtag movement. Ouch. <laughs> if I were Prime Minister, mini eggs for all. But I'm not Prime Minister, so it won't happen. Yet. Eggs are the tiny things, yes.
More jewels, more eggs. Yep. Oh, everything, please. Oh, oh no! How dare you yeet me? I will not be yeeted. I've been eaten. <laughs> All right, round two. Ain't taking that. Ouch. Don't heg butt cacti. Not good for you. Enzo, what have you got to tell me? Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? Oh, this is actually a really tight jump, if I remember. I ooh, actually no, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to those rooftops first, maybe. With a mighty leap. Oh, yeah, no problem. I wonder what cooked vulture tastes like. Probably not very nice. Maybe like chicken. Who knows? My chicken, yeah. <laughs> Marco. You've reached the highest point in Cliff Town. You can get to almost anywhere from here. <laughs> I would you. I'd use that whirlwind there. You can get to almost anywhere from here. I'm from New York. I ain't got time to talk to you. Hmm. Sneaky thing, though. Yeah, I am Marco Polo. Yep. This game you don't really play. That's a, that's more of an American game, I think. Don't do it so much over here. All right, where am I going now? That way. Yeah. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Woo! Oh, Good job I did. That button's the fire. Gotcha. There are no wrong buttons, only wrong presses of buttons. Oh, can I make that? Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes! 
Hmm. What gems am I missing? How many am I missing? Six. Oh, that's this two. Now just gotta look around and see. Oh, there's a bird. Nah, bird. Oh. Oh, there's the last one. And to leave. I'll go this way. Ouch. I couldn't imagine running into something that fast with just my head. Oh. Mind you, I am quite tall. <laughs> so the pain is real. Oh, Spyro, how are you missing? There we go. Send a letter to my widow. Oh, no, you don't. Accurate. Oh, maybe it was. Oh, all right, okay. And score. All right. I only... I have the other Spyro games. I, we call them the other Spyro games. But uh, I still do think the PlayStation trilogy are the best. Uh, I know that uh, Spyro took a very different turn on the PS2. I wish they would make a Spyro 4, though. Has to happen at some point. Has to. You. There you go. What's your name? Magnus. Hi, Spyro. Hi. The dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Eating lots of butter. <laughs> Hmm, I'm going to go this way. Oh, the ice cavern. This level's great. This is one of the bigger levels, if I remember rightly. It's great, though. Spyro forever. <laughs> Spyro, hmm. Spyro. Foregone conclusion? Eh, no. Spyro for, um. Spyro for. Spyro Fortnite. No. Spyro in, in Fortnite would be funny. Oh, have you seen... Oh, that reminds me. Have you seen the Spyro in Half-Life mod? That is something I have to play at some point, because that is hilarious sounding. Ulrich. Hi, Ulrich. 
word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <laughs> like me, before charging those large enemies. Hmm. I think that here's a hint of snobbery from there, sir. Spiral Fortnite. <laughs> it should be for Ebbs. <laughs> yeah. Dragon Battle Royale. Hmm. Yeah, once that Spyro Half-Life mod is finished, I definitely want to play that because it does sound great. Oh, fire, snowball. Fireball, snowball. Spyro thought it's about time. Hmm. I think I've got everything so far. Ah! No, do not punch the dragon. That is not... That is not kosher. Hi, Trogdor. A uh, Todor. up ahead are wearing armor and in the ice cave armor can make their feet very slippery hmm hmm sparrow is back but it's vr oh <laughs> sparrow vr game that'll be amazing i did hear i uh, did hear lucas mention today um a sonic first person vr game i was like oh man i can feel my stomach turning already I am speed. <laughs> oh. Boing. Boing. Oh, this level's got some scary jumps. I remember now. <laughs> I I went fast. They said you, you've got to go fast, but I, I never realized I was going to go that fast. Oh, okay. All right. Bop. Look at this guy. Weird flex, but okay. Dead memes. The Andor. Thank you for releasing me. Heck, <laughs> it becomes a drug. <laughs> Hook me up, man. Hook me up with the speed. <laughs> you don't understand. I, I, I just have to go fast. <laughs> Good fish. Get the dog. Oh, man. Oh, no, I came this way. Oh, the old Sonic cartoons. I grew up watching the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And the other one that's now known as Sonic at AM. I remember they ended one of those series on a huge cliffhanger. And I was like, oh, wow, I can't wait for them to carry on the story. Uh, that was. Uh, that was 20 odd years ago. 
Ouch. Screw you. Tell someone you trust. Yeah. Even you can learn something from a sloth. I'm like, what kind of life advice is that? I've missed so many gems just wandering around. I see you in there. But the anime. Very kind of cool that Cartoon actually... Yeah, well, there were a load of them. That was a whole thing, sort of like... Um... There was a whole lot of it. It wasn't just Sonic. It was like the the uh, parents were probably complaining that hey, this this show isn't teaching my kid anything, and they were like, okay, guess we have to add like a thing at the end that teaches kids, you know, eat your veggies and be nice to people, that kind of stuff. Asher, thank you for releasing me. Oh my god, <laughs> they even. Did they give did they give that dragon Parkinson's? <laughs> really? I saw him shaking. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. Don't give the dragon Parkinson's. Oh, what's in here? Uh, and uh. <laughs> Don't give the dragon Parkinson's. That's no good. <laughs> I want that. Don't mess it up or it's in the drink for you, Spyro. Ugh. How dare you? Drink being little. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Very literal. Is it is it Vimto down there? Oh yeah. There. Ah! I will I will gonna uh, shove shove this fireball so far up your backside. Ah, uh, boss. It's right, Bina. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't got sparks with me anymore. I'm taking too many hits. Oh, bass. Bass will help me. Down, Mr. Bat. I need you. Hold still. Let me let me take your butterfly. Oh, fine. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, a bat. No, come here. Oh my god, bat. I need you. Thank you. Back in the old days, any suspected video game company would have got that purple liquid sponsored by British drinks manufacturer. <laughs> Oh god, I can't see. Hmm, right, I need to get up there. Oh, they have three lives up there. I want them. Mm, I think I've got to go all the way back to the beginning, though. No, I'm not returning home just yet. Do I have a key as well? I don't think I picked up a key yet.
definitely a risk worth taking this jump, though. Three extra lives. I want those. Come on. You. Do I have the key for you yet? Nope. I do not. Ah, there it is. <clears throat> and drop. Yeah, there we go. Ouch. Scamper, scamper, scamper. Goodies do you contain? Gems, I think. All right, now time to try that really risky jump. I got 400. Cool. I remember rightly, I think it's over here. And I gotta do a sort of leap of faith around the corner. I think it's that way. Yeah, I think it's this way. All right, only one way to find out. Yeah. We're done here. Vimto. No Vimto. Ooh, Dr. Kemp. Not you just yet. If it was right beneath, you'd be fine. Oh, yeah, that's true. It doesn't begin with a V. Very true. Ooh, hot. Uh, hot Ribena on a cold night. Mmm. Good stuff. You! Come here. Oh, I missed... Where is Don't you... Nah, 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 me. Oh, oops. Okay. Hey, gonna. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some... Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Oh! <gasps> He was about to say bottom. No! The Vimto. The Vimto will not claim me. Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh no. He was about to say bottoms. All right. Come on, Spyro, you can do it. Ooh, gems over there. Right. Uh, I have the key. I don't want to go this way. This is a harder jump than it looks. Oh, please make it. Ooh, just. Nice. <laughs> Kick some round footballs. Oh, ooh. 
Sp spider's going rogue. All right, I need to do the boss now, I think. Dr. Shemp. Oh, and then the Nightfly level. Oh, Dr. Shemp. I remember now. Bye. Bye. You can totally hear you all. Three realms completely looked at the of destruction. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, you would smack me off the edge. Not having any of that. Oh, the purple. Got to get the purple. Ooh, that was close. So many scary jumps in this game. <laughs> the pit is full of Vimto. Etrondo. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back. Purple shinies, oh yes. Any shinies, really, just... All shinies are uh, equal. Hi. Uh, my bottom hurts. Ouch. Oh no, he might. Oh no, he. Hey, he won't kill me. I hope. It's just me and him. I've only got one hit left. He might take me out. The pressure. The pressure. <laughs> he died. Nah, two words. Close casket. <laughs> Ain't a <it> dark. <laughs> Whee! Careful, careful. Ooh, I can't quite reach you. Uh. Oh, you're going, Meth. Thank you. Thank you for hanging around. Bye bye. Take care, and have a great week. Sorry, I didn't see I didn't see your comment earlier, <laughs> but bye-bye. Oh, 
No, I think that's everything in that level. Wasn't it? Let me check my inventory. Oh, no, it wasn't everything. I was about to leave. Oh, do that. Gotta get everything. Where did I miss things? Hmm. Let's have another look. Oh, no, can't go that way. Oh, well, I can go that way, though. Why did I miss things? Oh, there, that would explain it. Two, where's the last? Oh, there it is. Two bosses down there. All right, progress. Whoa, don't fall in the thing. No, don't fall in the Vimto. I need to get Sparks back, though. Hmm, Sparks, where you be? There you are. Oh, don't you even think about it. Is that everything in this world? Yep. Oh, I've still got to do the night flight level, though. Night flight's a fun one. Oh no. It's all gone wrong. Oh no! No! Oh, I, I, I messed this up. Oh, can I still hold on to it? Probably not. Three, two, one, uh oh. So close. Try again, yeah. All right, do it this time, but better. No, I said better, not worse. Oh, I've done the same thing. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> I forgot you could press the X button and make him flap. Flap. Flap.
uh, this way. Uh oh, running out of time. There we go. Nice. All in one. Excellent. New record. Try again. Uh, no. Yeah, the skybox is great. Those jewels. The big jewels. They must be big, big jewels in the distance, and I want them. Oop, nearly into the boom toe. Nope. Uh, okay. Balloon guy time. Green purple night, yeah, green purple night crystals. <coughs> Gosnold, I can't believe you found so much tre stone treasure. Yeah, up aboard. Oh, I love the magic crafters world. Some really nice stages in this level. <clears throat> You! Come here. I think it's a step. Yep. More mini eggs. What was around there? Oh, nope. That was the way I came in. Tell me what to do, Cosmos, please. To magic crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. Please. Line him up and knock him down. Lap at me. Uh, what happened? Did he kill himself? Okay, I'll take it. Cheers, guy. Spyro. I done goofed. Ouch. Ow. Ow. Oh, yeah, into the Windex colored Fanta. <laughs> Man, I when are they going to when are they going to and reveal what that flavor is? I want to know what it is. Oh, extra life. Nice. I really want to know what that what that is. Feels like it's been going on for like months now. Excuse me, sir. You and I have some unfinished business. I've heard people say that that Fanta is, um... Blueberry? Don't know, though. The 
mighty Xanthor. You see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead, try it. Excellent! Couldn't really work out what it... Mm. Oh, I don't have a key yet. Yeah, they should just tell us what it is. It's nice, if a bit strange, but... Uh, eh, I like it. It's okay. Dun, 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 Whoa! Straight into Wizard Peak. <laughs> I could not stop. All right, hope there's something good in here. What do we got? We got a path over, ooh. Okay, no men. Welcome to Wizard Peaks. This is my favorite supercharge spot. Use it to bash those wizards. Give it a go. So many lives. Is that enough? Nope, that's not enough to make that jump either. <sighs> Come on. Play time lucky. Really big run up for this one. Woo! You get that sense of speed and you nail those jumps just right. It feels so good.
Oh, yeah, got to get that box. Got him. Hi, Lucas. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan home. It is at the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan home, waterfall. Sounds good. Oh, you, Lucas, you're the most helpful dragon. <clears throat> Lucas is a good dragon. Lots of hidden things in this level. I really need some health, though. Ooh. Go this way first. <clears throat> Drop down. How are we all doing in the chat? Everybody okay? Oh, nope. Decided against that jump. Let's try here. Hmm. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. Down here. Oh, is that the last one I needed? Seven, eight, ooh, two. Not a problem. Oh, all the memories, yeah. And all their uh, PS1, a fine texture warping blender. <laughs> oh man, where's the last one? I am not leaving until I find it. 
box do you have any it's a box tell me where it is go find oh there it is at least i hope that's two yeah I think I might do... I'll do one more level and then I might call it for tonight because it's getting a bit late. And we'll uh, maybe pick up another time next week, I think. It won't be appreciated Dragon Day next week, but uh, it should be appreciated Dragon Day every day. place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I need a mini eggs, yes. That's all one needs. The big questions in life. Is that all you need for your day? Shinies and mini eggs? that level over there so let's do that one wink what was this level this level is alpine ridge yep might do this one and then call it a night seems to be rather unimpressed about the older dragons yeah he, well, this is the 90s. We haven't got time to listen to people tell stories. We've got to get on with the adventure. Oh, this level's really long, actually. <laughs> oh, well, that's the end of that. <laughs> Let's do that again, but less stupid. Wow. Sir, you need to calm down. <laughs> That's not radical. Absolutely not. All right. And... Oops. afraid of those big noisy gigantic awful beasts are you of course not i didn't think so uh, <laughs> totally tubular okay no nothing up there but use those gems as a hint oh camera camera thank you Please make it, please make it, please make it, please make it. Thank you.
Oh, I mistimed that completely. Whee! That was a bit of a disaster. That was not radical. Not radical of me at all. Boink. Bye. No pesky wizards and their their magic wands and stuff. I want over here. Um... Oh, thank you for releasing me. That's a cool name, Eldred. Two for one, nice. Yes, Eldridge does sound like a proper dragon name. Ooh. Mind you, dragons can call themselves whatever they like. Ouch. Don't sit on me. I take a bit of a stupid path in this level, so I do have to go round again. But, uh... Oh, well. Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the Magic Crafter world. Hmm, okay, let's go this way. See you. Come here with that mini egg. Jelly bean the dragon. I pity confectionery delights. <laughs> Kelvin. Remember that these blue thieves haven't stolen eggs only in the Magic Crafter world. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. Forty-two dragons. Can I make that jump? Oh, yep. Scary jumps. <clears throat> right, I want to get back to that other area I uh, messed up really badly on.
Yeah, I see them having a party over there. Well, I'm about to crash that party. Uh, if I get high enough. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't see any right now, but yeah, I wouldn't want to drink that. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Ah. Don't you laugh at me. <laughs> I think that's everything. Yep. Yeah, I will be able to possibly stream a little more next week rather than only Sunday because, uh, wow, have my, uh, have my weeks been busy. Lots of things to do at work, but thankfully it's calming down now a little bit, so uh, I might be able to get some more streams in. Which would be nice. Alright, let's check the old logbook. What did we get up to? So, finished off. Yeah, got everything in Artisans. Got everything in the Peacekeepers. Got everything, got everything so far in Magic Crafters. All right, 47%. That's a pretty nice number to, uh, to leave it off on. So, I guess next time, we oh, might, might finish off the game. So, uh... Yeah, thanks for thank you very much for hanging out with me tonight, everybody. It was uh, very nice, very nice hanging out with you all, and uh, I hope you all have a uh, have a great week. So, uh, yep, stay safe, stay hydrated, and uh, until next time, take care. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>